subgrade where we're going to have a sewer lateral running. So we're going to get subgrade and we're going to windrow all our material off to one side here as a water trapper. Essentially, we're just going to keep working alongside of this cut here and get subgrade, wind rolling it off here to the left side so the excavator can track down through here nice and square and dig this sewer. And then I'm going to take all this material that we stacked off to the side and put it back over our pipe. So that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be in the dozer working this grade out around this uh, this sewer lateral here. So stay tuned and we'll keep poking away.
three big rocks on the right hand side here. But we're just blowing our way down through. You know, in a timely fashion, the best we can, we keep pulling this stuff out. We're gonna put it over to the right side. I'm cutting grain a little deeper on this side and now work out my main fall. What I'm done here. I'm just trying to cut it a little deeper just to get all the rocks and all the nasty stuff out. So we track the estimator down through here. It's just a nice, comfortable run like that. That rock right there will uh, be slowed down. An old water line in there too. So we're just working our way down through here. We got our blade tip, tip to the left. We're pulling material from this side over to create our windrow on the left side and in the process we're just we're getting uh, uh we're getting this nice road built down through here for the estimator so we'll probably be at it all day we have a huge cut over here i gotta have at least 30 foot width and then i also have to build a berm on the left side and dress it up so we'll be at this all day so you guys stay tuned and keep poking away Okay, real quick, I wanted to give you guys a tip on the new Earthworks Trimble. If you hit this button right here, the third one down on the right side, it looks like a roadway. If you click that, it'll prompt you to another screen. And in this screen here, you can select the line, highlight it, make it a custom color, then you hit apply and then when you go back to your guidance screen now you have a bright highlighted guidance line so just a quick tip it helps a lot of guys out tree get dropped by an excavator that was cool i wish i got that on film but missed it so anyways we're gonna keep poking along going all the way up there to that uh <coughs> that silk worker that sock <coughs> that bolt sock going all the way down now it was this hill this morning just a giant hill what we did was we would cut the subgrades, so we could run this long sewer run, deep sewer run down through here with no issues. And it also uh, makes it so, you know, benching and stretching and things are much easier without these side slopes and stuff. So just a tip, you know, keep everything open and wide as you can and, and make sure everything's benched and sloped correctly. So we're just going to keep poking away, but you can see the cut we got to the right side by a good four foot. We started way down here, and we went all the way up to the top there. So we're just going to 
walk away at this for the rest of the day and uh, keep filming here and there and keep checking in. I just wanted to show you guys real quick and I know it might be hard to see with all the sun glare, but on this screen right here is my sewer line. So what I'm doing is I'm going about 15 foot off that, a blade and a half, and I'm grading out this whole main call that goes over top of the sewer line, 15 feet in each direction. So I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, a pointer. Usually what I like to do when I'm doing something like this is get your main fall nice and square first. And then you can work these edges because a lot of the times you'll have a lot of rocks and different things in here. You got to work your way around. And it just makes it very, very, very helpful to have this nice flat area to work from. Imagine if I was getting into these concrete chunks here and I didn't have a nice flat area to work. Well now I just plumped the concrete chunk. I got a nice flat area. I could wing it off with my blade tip and place it right over out of the way on the back side of my curb right here. It's that simple. So now that you have a nice paint ball here, like we have all the way up and back, it just makes it simple. But anyways, when you're working these lines, you just kind of stay here, square, square up the center of the line just like you're at right there in the blade now. Keep that square all the way from one end to the other, just a blade, like slot nosing style. Then, once you're done carving this line in at a perfect grade, then you can work out to your edges like so, like you see in my screen. That's about 15 foot, blade and a half. And we won't push any more material out there, we're just going to leave our extra material there and make the fin throw when we're done. So. That's what we're doing.
foot start here. Once I get done just a couple more passes, I'll go ahead and I'll go up there and start pushing in the other direction again. Now that I have this all nice, nice. Really taking our time and doing a good job here. We're not gonna turn here flap everything as if we were just doing GPS work. Right now, it's important that everything is nice and square and pitches into these bearings. We got good progress here. So these guys can literally start right now.
I've run that grade plane right out along my left side. And now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the right side off and with an angled blade. And I'm pulling that material out across matching the plane on my left side. So I'm basically just zeroing, presenting my grade, or my blade rather. that material then when I come back I can back lay all these little tiny ruts to my left here right out and it'll make a nice true grade right to the bottom of the slope where we're going so that's just another little tip but yeah I'm just gonna keep working this you can see I made it all the way to the silk fence with ripping the topsoil off and everything and I've stacked all the topsoil down at that far end there so when I'm done I can track pack my berm on the left side here and then I can just blow that topsoil over top of it because I got a lot of nasty big rocks and bricks and chunks of concrete in there and I don't want the cars going by and, and, and the managers and people to see that eyesore so what I'm doing is I'm just taking all this extra material and putting it down at this end I've left the concrete and all the other material we want to hide in the middle down here and I've made a giant windrow up to that point. When I'm done here, <coughs> cutting grade from the roadway, I'll take that windrow and I will dress it up over top of everything over there. So it's just a little bit of pre-planning. A lot of times if you plan ahead just a little bit like that, it saves you a whole lot of headache later. So.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. We are just out here track packing everything in just in case we get rain. We touched the berms up, we graded the road, we got a nice 1% pitch going to the right side for watershed. So we are wrapping it up for the day and starting this weekend early. So you guys have a good weekend. We'll be back on Monday. See ya.